failure is an option is a philosophy that did not come easy to me at all. In fact, as soon as that comes out of my mouth and into your ears, there's probably many of you who just absolutely loathe that statement. Um, but but let me let me explain it to you. Failure is an option actually came from a Domino's Pizza slogan. And, and so the idea behind the slogan was, well, we're going to build success off of and on top of failure. So success is actually built on failure. Uh, so in 2014, there's a great uh, you know, advertising campaign. I'm a former marketing and advertising guy, and so I love a good advertising campaign. And, and the commercial went like this, and you can look it up on YouTube, it's still there. The commercial w w was like this, that you know what, look, try anything, do experiments, you know, the CEO of the company was was telling essentially all the, you know, the pizza makers, you know, throughout the country to just try to invent a new pizza. And, and, and there's no losing, there's no failing, right? Failure is an option. It's okay to experiment and to fail. And, and my favorite part of the commercial is when, you know, they, they talk about the cookie pizza. And this, you know, young gal kind of is holding up her pizza box and it says cookie pizza. And she simply says, I don't want to talk about it, which which is funny. And, and so it's a great commercial, but it really reminded me. And if you take a look at the history of Domino's Pizza, just how they will try different things. They will experiment. They are willing to fail on trying some new concepts in their pizza in order to not stay stagnant and and when you look at Domino's Pizza they are the uh, the number one uh, worldwide pizza seller of of pizzas in the world and look I like Domino's but let's be honest Domino's does not make the best pizza in the world so why are they selling the most they're selling the most because they continue to build on on their risks they continue to build off of their ideas because they're willing to fail now look all business owners um, all salespeople all great inventors all entrepreneurs actors musicians athletes they all have one thing in common you know what that is they've all failed look pain pain is temporary pain is temporary but glories forever being a former athlete myself and being especially a baseball player, I mean, baseball players live in failure. If you're a Hall of Fame baseball player, that means you fail seven out of ten times. For every ten at-bats you get, if you fail seven out of ten times, that's a 300 hitting percentage, that means you're a Hall of Famer. That means you only succeed three out of seven times. Now, in any other industry, we usually consider that not very good. But in baseball, that's great. That's a Hall of Famer. We see the same thing in sales. We see salespeople who have to make a lot of phone calls in order to finally get through, finally reach a decision maker, finally get that appointment so that they can make the sale. It all comes down to being willing and able to, to risk uh, to risk maybe saying the wrong thing, to risk making a bunch of phone calls, to to risk putting in more work. But if you put in that effort, uh, you know you will uh, be successful. Your success will then be built on a foundation ultimately of temporary failure. And so one of the things I I was going back and researching and and thinking about what Domino's and especially from their their ad campaign was look anything goes they're willing to expand and you know Domino's uh, they were the first ones to come up with the 30-minute pizza guarantee maybe some of you might remember the silly commercials avoid the noid right they had great advertising campaigns they've tried things like pan pizzas vegetarian pizzas sandwiches oven baked pasta bowls um, I mean they you know, have even um, <clears throat> more recently come out with pasta dishes, and and they have a name change. They they're not known by Domino's Pizza anymore. They're just Domino's, and you can tell that they're moving and positioning um, to go above and beyond uh, what they once were were known for, which was just pizza. 
The idea of failure as an option reminds me of a, of a great poem that I found. You can probably look it up online. Uh, you can find it in my book. Uh, the, the poem's called Risk, right? And it's the idea of risk appearing to be the fool. You know, risk um, losing, risk um, failing, risk loss. If, if you don't risk, if you never risk, then you'll never gain anything. You'll never succeed. You'll never find your, your ultimate because you're just too cautious and you're not willing to take some risks. One of the things that, that I love about reading biographies and reading about uh, different uh, you know, business owners, and one of the reasons why I love listening to the podcast, How I Built This, and, and listening to the story behind the, uh, the men and women who've, who've started great businesses in America is one of the most common denominators for the most successful people that we know is failure. Uh, you know Henry, Henry Ford. You know he he failed many many times uh, before he really created what we would come to know as the world famous Ford Motor Company. In fact, he said, "Look, failure is simply the opportunity to begin again, right? Except this time more intelligently." We're probably all familiar with the ten thousand you know failures of Thomas Edison's light bulb, right? Um, Walt Disney. Walt Disney was a, a huge failure. In fact, you know, all the way up until his dying days, he was in debt up to his, up to his, you know, eyes and ears. I mean, he always took risk. He always took gambles, and and he failed. And you know, his first amination in the company called the Laughagram Films was a complete flop and failure. But he kept going. Uh, Milton Hershey. Milton Hershey tried, uh, you know, three other candy companies before he actually, you know, hit it in Lancaster with his caramel company and the, you know, what's now the famous Hershey Candy Bar Company or, you know, my favorite, the Hershey Kiss, right? We've seen people like Colonel Sanders who, after his retirement age, you know, tried to pitch his his secret recipe over and over and over again, thousands of times being told no until he just decided, you know what, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll do it myself. We saw Steve Jobs get fired from his own board, his own company. Uh, he, he was fired. We've seen one of my favorite uh, coaches of all time, Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll was fired several times. He's fired by the New York Jets and in the NFL. He's fired by the New England Patriots before he went on to, to great success at USC and college football and then uh, the Seattle Seahawks in the NFL. One, one of the things Pete Carroll says is, look, uh, you know, our best lessons are learned from failure. And, and, and the reason why is it's important for us to, to get to the truth in order for us to move ahead. And so failure uh, isn't something to be af afraid of. It's actually something uh, to, to be embraced. Uh, right now, our president, uh, whether you like him or not, and one thing you can say is he's persistent and resilient. Uh, Donald Trump has failed in more times than I, I think anybody I know. He, he failed in an airlines. He failed in a game. He failed at a university. Uh, he failed in a state company, he failed with a magazine and all that to say, you know, he's filed bankruptcy with different uh, buildings and casinos and now he's president of the United States. And so you can fail and he's worth billions of dollars and, and still bounce back. What's the secret? What's the secret to failing and, and using that failure as success? Um, because certainly there's several people that have failed and we never heard anything more about them. But I think the, the secret is found in Angela Duckworth's book, and, and you can listen to her on a TED Talk, and, and her concept is grit. We have to be people who are gritty. right? I mean, you have to have determination and perseverance. You, you have to, to fight through. You have to be thick-skinned. You have to be tough. Right? Be gritty. Have some grit. We used to say things like, hey, no pain, no gain. Right? That means you have to be willing to embrace pain. You have to be willing to accept pain in order to get the gain. That's the whole process behind working out. Right? I, I, I love the concept of, of building up muscle because the first thing you have to do is, in, in, in essence, is tear your muscles to shreds. And then it's the healing process that then builds the muscles up 
to where they get bigger. You know, one of my favorite new athletes right now is Lamar uh, Jackson. He's a quarterback for the for the uh, Baltimore Ravens, and he wears this shirt that says, "Nobody cares. Work harder." You know, have some grit. Look, nobody cares if you fail. Nobody cares if you know why you failed. You just got to work harder. And then if you do work harder, well, some other axioms come to play like, you know what? The harder I work, the luckier I'll get. If you work hard, if you work harder than anybody else, you don't even have to be better than them. But if you work harder, you will get luckier than them. I promise you. It reminds me of a great little book, a great little book called Go For Nose. I mean, it will take you a matter of minutes to finish it, but it's one of the best books that, that I've read in the, the past couple of years. It was co-written by Richard Fenton and uh, Andrea Waltz. Go For No. It, the idea is yes might be your destination, but no is how you get there. And so like your typical uh, salesperson, your typical person that has to you know, try to, to get an appointment, they have to hear no over and over and over again before they get to that yes. And so, in a backwards kind of way, your your goal should be to hear more no's. Because the only way you're going to hear a yes is by hearing no. And so, success is built on failure. And that's why failure is an option. <laughs>